Hey guys, happy weekend and welcome back to another Weekend Vibes. Hope everyone is having a fabulous weekend. Today the guys are busy working in the yard and fixing up the cooking area. So we ladies will be taking over the cooking today. Today we plan on cooking some well, chicken chow mein and air fried chicken. Hello! And we'll also make a banana bread for dessert. So join us and hope you guys enjoy. Hey, cheers. So we leave the guys to do their work and we'll get started with the cooking. Okay guys, let's get started with today's cooking. So here we have a whole chicken that we have washed and patted dry, then seasoning with salt and let it sit for a couple of hours. Now we'll season it with some fresh ginger and garlic. We'll rub the ginger paste on the entire chicken inside and out then we went in with some allspice powder and black pepper Make sure to cover the entire chicken. Then we add some oyster sauce. And we'll coat the chicken with it. Both inside and out. And lastly, we coat the chicken with some pure sesame oil, inside and out. And that's all the seasoning we'll use for this chicken. We let it sit until it's ready for the air fryer. So guys, we'll be doing chicken two ways. So this is the first one with the ginger, garlic, oyster sauce and sesame oil. Then we'll do a red chicken. We'll use a red roast pork seasoning to season the chicken, then air fry it. So here we have another whole chicken that we have also washed, patted dry, seasoned with salt and let it sit for a couple of hours. And now we are seasoning it with the red seasoning mix. Make sure to cover the entire chicken, both inside and outside, with the red seasoning mix. We let it sit until it's ready for the air fryer. Moving on, we're going to boil the chow mein. So here we have a large pot of water that we bring to boil. We season the water with salt, olive oil, bay leaf, and couple whole allspice. We are using two small pack of champion chow mein. We'll give it a mix and let it boil until it's tender. We'll also be making some potato salad. So here we have some potato peel washed cube. We season it with salt and we'll cover this and let it come to a boil. And the chow mein is also finished boiling so we drain it run it under cold water 
and we'll set it aside until we're ready to fry it up. We also have some eggs boiling to add into the potato salad. So guys, we'll start to bake the chicken. So we'll do the ginger garlic one first. So we have the air fryer preheated and we'll add the chicken in and let it bake for 35 minutes at 370. So it's time to fry up the chow mein and here are all the ingredients we'll be using. In a large pot we have some oil heat up and we add in some onion to saute. We let it saute for a couple of minutes. Then we went in with some ginger garlic paste with two bay leaf and a couple of whole allspice. We'll mix this in and let it saute. Then we add one Maggi cube and one teaspoon of tomato paste. Then we went in with sweet soy sauce. We'll mix this in and let it saute. And now we are adding in some shredded chicken. We are using chicken thigh that we have steamed with salt and black pepper and shred into small pieces. We'll mix this in and let it continue to fry for a couple of minutes. We season it with salt and black pepper we also went in with a little of allspice powder and mix it in. To the chow mein, we add pure sesame oil and mix it in. We use about two tablespoons To the chicken, we add chopped red bell pepper and mix it in. Chicken on the potato, it needs just a few more minutes. And chicken on the chicken, halfway through, we give it a flip and let it continue to bake. Back to the chicken, now we add in the chow mein and we'll mix it in.
We also take the heat off the potato. We add about two tablespoons of oyster sauce to the chow mein. And we also add sweet soy sauce. And we'll mix this in. So guys, we also seasoning with some black pepper. Then we add in shredded carrot. Give it a taste. Then we add in chopped shallot and shredded cabbage. We'll mix it in and our chow mein is finished. And it's looking so delicious. Check this out guys. We'll cover this and set it aside. Cheers guys, happy weekend. So guys, moving on to the dessert. We are making a banana bread. And we have Shalissa here, mashing up some banana for us. And checking on the chicken. Our first chicken is finished. And it's looking so delicious. It's beautifully golden brown. Check out the goodness, guys. So we'll chop this up into serving size and set it aside. Looking so good. And we also put the other chicken, the red chicken to bake for the same time, 35 minutes at 370. So guys, we'll be mixing the potato salad now and these are the ingredients we'll be using. So here we have our potato, boiled to tender. Then we add in one tablespoon of butter and mix it in. Then we went in with finely cubed apple, boiled egg cube, chopped shallot. We season it with salt. and black pepper we add a little of carnation milk and then we went in with some mayo
and we'll mix this in make sure everything is well combined it's an easy simple and fast potato salad nothing too complicated you can add whatever you want to the potato salad and spice it up to your liking we kept it simple and it's looking so delicious check it out guys and there we go our potato salad is finished So guys it's already getting dark just 6 6 30 the place is already dark here and the guys are still busy fixing up outside they're here fixing up the cooking area Yeah, they're working hard today. Shalissa greased and flour the pan we'll use to bake the banana bread. And she's doing a great job. So she will also be helping us mix in the banana bread. So a little instruction first. And these are all the ingredients will be used for the banana bread. So getting started, in the bowl we have 5 banana that we mashed. Then we add in about 1 cup of finely chopped prawns and half cup of brown sugar and we'll give this a mix first now guys the prawns will be according to your liking if you want to add more you can add more if you want to add less you add less and this is our twist on banana bread then we went in with five eggs and one cup of melted butter and we'll mix this in I will put the full recipe in the description below for those of you guys who would like to give it a try so this is looking good now we'll add in Two teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and two teaspoon of baking powder. And we'll mix it in. Then we add in two cups of our purpose flour. And about half cup of crushed walnut. And we'll mix it in.
And there we go guys, our banana bread is finished mixing. And of course you gotta give it a taste. So we'll pour it into two pan and put it to bake. So here we have our two pan of banana bread ready to bake. And we have the oven preheating at 350 degrees and we also have a pan with water in the bottom we'll let this bake for about 50 minutes give or take at 350 degrees check in on the guys again and they're still busy i think they plan on working all night so here they're making a new fireside they're cutting a small gas bottle to make a new fireside so let's see how this one turns out and it's finished and take its spot and a closer look And the Kahari fit perfect. <coughs> what do you guys think? Looks good, right? Cheers guys to the new fireside. So the guys had to light it up to see how it works. Like they said, they christen it. Looks good. Good job guys. So guys it's been about 50 minutes later and the banana bread is finished baking and we take it out the oven and we let it cool it's looking so good so delicious And here we stick it with the toothpick to test it and you, as you can see the toothpick comes out clean so it's just perfect Hi, Hi. Hi. so guys dinner is served and let me give you a quick look at today's menu so here we have our chicken chow mein, our baked chicken the brown one and the red one looking too good potato salad pickled cucumber and tomato and that's the menu for today and now we'll enjoy dinner. No, you cannot sit on my chair, Oh. 
so guys a close-up of today's goodness everything is looking so amazing so delicious so we have our chow mein our chicken a piece of a red and a piece of the brown it's looking too delicious and our pickled cucumber and tomato and not forgetting the potato salad and there we go today's goodness it's looking too good and let's hear what the guys think about this goodness so guys how's dinner club rocket perfect fresh how's dinner what are you doing so far huh? what are you doing so far huh? you can sit there no one can sit there and today's chef, how was dinner? Well, you can ask me because I cook, right? Charlene, you need to ask. Andrew? Oh, I can see. <laughs> And Charlene, how you, you like? You gotta ask Shashi twice because she don't post. Shashi, are you finished? Yeah. Oh, it was so good? Yes. And yeah? Yeah. Good. Good. And okay. how was dinner, Shazam? Two thumbs up? Yes. Oh, she did. Huh? Yeah? Maybe thumbs up? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. How much thumbs up? Not? What are you doing? What? How much thumbs up? Oh, my mommy. What? No, why are you not being scared? And Chris? No, okay. It's good? It's really good. Really good? Only I eat the pepper. <laughs> so, for sure I will have problems. <laughs> So guys, we'll continue to enjoy some of this goodness and we'll catch you guys for dessert. So we'll be having banana bread and chai for dessert. And here is a close-up of the banana bread, what it looks inside. And it's looking delicious. You can see pieces of the prawns and walnut. So we'll cut this up into serving size. And here we made some homemade chai. So we got our banana bread. And our chai and dessert is served. Hello. Hi. Gracias. Take one meanwhile, eh? Oh, yeah, I need to take the chairs in. Okay. Yes. You know what? Amen. Well, it's good, eh? And how is it? Shashi made it. It's so good. So this will make it. Ready? Good? Yeah. Okay, come on. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys, and happy holidays.
to kick off the holiday season we are wishing each one of you guys a happy and blessed holiday season much love from our family to yours thank you so much for all your love and all your support we really appreciate it cheers so guys this will be all for today's video if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to join the family hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of our video with that being said have a safe and blessed week ahead and we'll see you on the next weekend vibes cheers